facial nerve runs through the parotid gland, which is a major salivary gland. It's a gland which swells up when you have mumps. It's also the commonest site to have salivary gland tumours. The majority of salivary gland tumours are benign, and so it's a matter of actually removing the tumour whilst preserving the integrity and function of the nerve. And we do that by our operative skills and facial nerve monitoring. So it's important that patients with salivary gland tumours have them taken out by people who do a lot of salivary gland surgery, uh, surgeons who use facial nerve monitoring. Uh, and by use of uh, the facial nerve monitor and experience, uh, most times you're able to preserve the facial nerve in its entirety without any functional deficit. But it's also quite easy to, to stretch the nerve and, and to inflict a minor degree of facial palsy on the patient. The majority of facial of parotid tumours are actually benign, uh, and so once you remove the tumour, the patient should be fine. But the small percentage, about 15%, which are malignant, may present, even when they're very small, with some degree of facial weakness. And in those patients, it's essential that the that segment of the facial nerve, at least, is removed along with the tumour so that you save the patient's life. The risk is minimised by being operated on by a properly trained surgeon using recognised techniques who finds the facial nerve within the parotid before he removes the tumour and a patient who operates with facial nerve monitoring.